Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at a quick way of uh, protecting a sheet, but unlocking all the cells of a particular color. So the scenario, scenario I've thought of is you may have created some sort of form in Excel and all the cells that you want people to enter data into are of a particular color. So in our scenario, that's this kind of gray color. Um, and you want people to, you don't want people to be able to edit anything other than the gray cells. And you want also people to be able to tab directly between those cells. So when you press the tab key, normally it will just tab along or whatever. Uh, you don't want it to do that. You want it to tab down through the gray cells. Okay, so that's what we're trying to achieve. Now, to the first thing we need to do is to be able to select all of those cells that have that gray background. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use the Find and Replace tool in Excel. So Control F will bring up the Find and Replace tool. And there's a special feature here for formats. You can find cells that have a particular format applied. So we can go say, choose format from cell. And then you just click into an example of the format that you want to look for. Then you say, find all. And it'll basically bring up a list of all the cells that you've found. And we've got four cells, obviously. Now, if you do Control A, it'll select all those cells, and then you can just close down that dialog box. So we now have those four cells selected. So I'm imagining that you may have many, many different cells in this scenario that you would want to select. Obviously, I could select four manually, but if you had like, I don't know, 25 cells, that would be a lot quicker than manually having to select them. A lot quicker using that find. And replace dialog box. Okay, so what we need to do is to actually unlock these cells. So control one will bring up format cells and you need to be on the protection tab in this dialog box. And you'll notice the cells are locked by default. That is true of any worksheet. All cells are locked. So if I protect the sheet, I can't edit any cells. We need to unlock these cells that are selected so that when we protect the sheet, we can still edit these cells. So I'm going to unlock them, click on OK. Then I need to protect the sheet. So I go to the Review tab on my ribbon, Protect Sheet. And I'm going to put in a password. It'll be whatever you like, as long as you can remember it. And so now, if I try and edit say, some of the labels, I can't do so. But if I put in my name here, I can do so. And if I tab, so going across the spreadsheet, it goes down to the next uh, cell. In the second example I'm gonna give you, I'm actually going to lock the cells of a particular color. Uh, you might do this for various reasons, but these cells here uh, contain a formula. Now there is a way of doing this where you can select cells that contain formula, but I just wanna show you how you can do it with color. So you'll know how to unlock cells of particular color and how to lock cells with a particular color or format. It doesn't have to be color. It can be the format of the font, you know, whether it's bold or whatever, or the font is a particular color. All those types of formatting attributes can be captured using this method. So the first step for this exercise would be to select all the cells, control one, and to unlock all the cells. Then control F. And you go to your little format button, choose format from cell. We select the cell, an example of the cell, find all. Then click here, then control A to select all items. Now, what's interesting is, is that it doesn't select the total cells. That's because these are numeric values and they've been formatted with currency format. So it's picking up all those formatting attributes that haven't been applied to these two cells, even though they have bold formatting and uh, the same color background. So it is quite particular in terms of what it's picking out here. Anyway, we've got those selected. And now we want to actually protect those cells. So back to control one, and I lock them. Click on OK. And then I would protect the sheet. So if I go to review, protect sheet, and I can put in my password. And now, although I can edit these cells, 
and it will update my total so I won't better edit these. Okay, that's all I'm going to cover in this Excel tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have. I'll say goodbye until the next video.